In this problem, we are being asked to find the center of a circle, the radius of a circle, and then to graph it on the coordinate plane, starting with its equation in standard form. And that's what you see here. You've got um, x plus some number quantity squared plus y plus some number quantity squared set equal to some other number. That might seem a little complicated and weird way to write a formula for something, but this is called standard form for a very good reason. It's, uh, it's really easy to graph a circle when it's in this standard form. Over here you see another version of it. We've got the numbers inside the parentheses replaced by negative h and negative k. And h, k is your center. So what this means is all you have to do is flip the sign of each of these numbers and those are your coordinates for your center. So in our case, a negative 5, comma, negative 3, that is the center of our circle. And let's just go ahead and graph that. Negative 5 and negative 3. There's our center. All right. The other part here, we've got r squared in our standard form on the right. What that means is this number right here, if you take the square root of it, you get the radius. So the square root of 16 is 4. So our radius is 4. And when you're graphing a circle, that means you can, from the center, you can count 4. And there's a point on the circle. 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 And once you've got uh, those kinds of points, it's pretty easy to sketch in your circle. Let me see if I can roughly do that here. All right, well, there's a reasonable approximation of a circle centered at negative 5, negative 3 with a radius of 4.